I want to ask you about uh, <coughs> getting back together again. I mean, you guys don't really break up. You just take long vacations. Yes, it's kind of like a, a continuum. I mean, after the Kocha Finger story, it was really silly us saying that we would like to have a break up and reform again because we never, we haven't really broken up. I mean, we've had a bunch of years off, but we still have to creep back together. I guess that the public don't want us uh, to do anything other than for us. Does it all come together once you get back together again? Is it like you never really left? Um, yeah, except it's it, it pretty tricky this time because of an acoustic set. And, uh, I've never played an acoustic bass once on the stage at uh, one of the largest concerts. Um, playing acoustic is really difficult for me because I haven't been sure of what it's going to sound like. But uh, electric stuff can be really fast. Good. Do you guys have any plans for any continuation of this or recordings, new music coming out, anything going on along those lines? Yeah, I've got the plans back in <laughs> No, we're, um, we're, we're playing it by ear. I mean, if we can't do some great songs, then you know, we'll do it. I mean, it's really um, a matter of what the songs are going to be. And um, where we're going to record it, who, we can, who the producer's going to be. And we've done it with a few arguments about all those little things. Then, you, guys, you, guys, you, guys, you guys aren't fighting still, are you? No, I uh, backing music's too loud. <laughs> What's that? You guys don't argue after all these years, do you? Not me, John. Please. Yeah, here's you, yeah? It's me, actually. Oh, yeah. That's good. Sid, Sid. Okay. Tom. Yeah. You don't argue. You still don't argue. That's just myth, right? No, we still argue. I mean, we've got really, really different opinions over, over you know, how everything should be, over how everything should sound. I mean, basically, uh, we're not able to recognise where the other person is, has been since they've been gone. You know? And uh, that's what most of the problems are, are, are about. You know, I'm used to playing with my band, uh, and none of them dared to tell me to turn down. And I, you know, I think I meet Roger for the first time in two years, and he goes, too loud! Ah, here I am again. But, uh, no, I mean, the, the album is always about, about the same thing. The music side of things, um, I think we're going to have to, like, uh, come to some kind of agreement where you know, our, our different styles of music join together and it's like a cross section. Yeah. Well, no, I think it'll work. Um, on the, um, on the, uh, the, the internet side of things, this is going to be live on the internet. Are you much into that? Do you know? Do you think that's uh, cool or what? My drummer Steve Longo is. I mean, he, 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 he pushes all the buttons for me. And, and I go, oh, pretty pitches. Yeah, okay. I'm into it. I mean, it's very important. I've done uh, a lot of interviews with. Uh, we phone someone up and they do the typing, and I do the interview, and they, they type it out roughly what I say. But I'm, I'm a lousy type. Is it still about the performing for you? You guys are one of the greatest all-time performance bands in the history of music. Um, whether you like to hear that or not, it, it's true. That's the way I feel. Yeah, and I mean, I, I always felt that the Who were, were a live band. I'm a, I'm a live performer. I play 50 times better on stage than I do in the you know, studio. You find them making a mistake because you've got four other guys or five other guys playing with you. And if you make a mistake, they have to start again. You know, so you always got really nervous. <laughs> and yeah, I mean, it's, it's basically letting down the other people that are recording with you. So you're always a little bit back, uh, unless uh, you don't think it's being recorded like the real me. And you know, I, I did a bass part on that that was completely off the wall, and I was I was just joking. Right. So, you know, a lot of a lot of neat things happen. Like that. You like getting together with these guys every now and then. I would, yeah, Roger. Small. <laughs> They're not here, though. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah it, it's, it's, you know, it, it's, the magic is still there. I can, I can, I can still uh, read in my head what Pete's going to do next. I mean, the, the, the acoustic set, uh, we're, we're a lot closer. I mean, as long as I've got Pete coming out with um, a speaker company on my side, I can hear what he's doing and, and fitting with it. And, uh, 
we did lose a lot of eye contact uh, back in the 70s. We lost a lot of, a lot of everything in the 70s. But we, 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 we tended to lose our, our eye contact and because we weren't looking at each other. We weren't playing the truly together. And, uh, I think that, I think uh, Pete and myself have realised that. You know that we actually got to look at each other. As ugly as we are, we actually have to look at each other and like, sort of try and find out what we're playing so we can play the same thing. You going to bring out Boris this time around? Uh, I think we're going to play Boris in the acoustic set. And uh, we'll be doing my wife in the electric set. Is it? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a waste using Boris in an electric set because it's, it's, it's such a... Uh, laid back sort of like Vicky Scrum. <laughs> it's really sort of a laid back song. It works uh, a lot better than it yeah. All right, John, thanks for your time. Okay. Good luck tomorrow night. It's great to see you again.